my name is Corporal Mark Moses with the City of Sumter Police Department. And I'm Patrolwoman Kayla Fleming. And we're here in one of Sumter's businesses, M&M's Little Shop of Horrors. We're here with the owners and we're here to talk about Halloween safety tips. My name is Melanie Lee. I'm one of the owners. And my name is Miranda Johns and I'm also an owner. We're here to begin with basically some basic rules of thumb for Halloween and how we should operate during the time when kids are out trick-or-treating. The first thing we want to talk about is you want to use some type of reflective tape <coughs> excuse me, on the uniforms or on the costumes for the children simply because that makes it where they're visible while they're walking at night or late in the evenings. Um, make sure they wear light colors and possibly carry flashlights if possible with fresh batteries. You guys sell flashlights here as well, yes, right? Yes, we do. We have a couple of varieties. Um, Frankenstein or a ghost. The next tip I want to talk about is make sure that your costume fits the children appropriately. It's not overly too big because sometimes that can cause them to trip and fall or sometimes it could actually cause uh, obstruction of their vision and they might not be able to see through the mask. Um, another thing to do is to stay alert, look for you know safe conditions, take care of a uh, situation with the traffic, make sure you walk on the left side of the road whenever you All right. You also want to make sure that when you're crossing the streets, make sure you cross at corners, do not cross walking in between the cars because people traveling on the roadway may not be able to see you and or the children. And make sure that you talk to your children about safety and make sure that they're not getting into any cars with strangers or going places where they, you're not familiar with the people there or uh, make sure that they're not approaching any place that you feel is unsafe for the children to be in. All right, while we're on the topic, um, parents with children, younger children should always be accompanied by an adult. Everywhere you're walking, whether it's across the road or just from one house to the next, they should always have an adult with them. Don't let the ch uh, children wander off too far to where maybe they're going with a group of friends and you're lagging behind them. Uh, that could open the door for some things to happen that we don't want to happen. Also, when the children are collecting treats from houses, even if it's someone you know, just make sure you're inspecting all the treats because you don't know where the treats came from before the people handing them out had it. Um, another thing you want to remember is try to stick to an area that you know. Go to areas that you're familiar with. Door-to-door -door houses, um, trunk or treats, uh, churches, neighborhoods that you're familiar with are the best places to take your children. All right. Um, was there anything else you ladies like to add or say? Um, on Halloween, we will be giving out treat bags to children. Um, if you want to stop by here, we'll be open 10 to 6 on Halloween day. The day before Halloween will be open 12 to 8. Today we're open 12 to 8 and tomorrow we're open 12 to 6. <laughs> we are conveniently located at 30 West Liberty Street, right across the street from Reliable Pond. And remember, Halloween is supposed to be for fun, but we also need to be as safe as possible. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Happy Halloween everyone. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween.